Rumors point to a jet white iPhone 7 being a possibility. Samsung's apologies for the Galaxy Note 7 continue, now on print, and Qualcomm teases something new to come from OnePlus. I'm Jaime Rivera. Number one, do not forget to exercise your right to vote. Number two, well, I'm going to be on a mission, so the Pocket Now Daily will return on November 14. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with LG. Surely the LG G5 may not have been the most popular smartphone of the year, but one thing we do commend LG for is software updates. Nougat has just reached the G5 in Korea. It should reach unlock variants very soon, and US carrier variants should reach it soon as well. We'll keep you posted. Other very interesting news come from Qualcomm as the company has begun teasing something cool coming from the OnePlus 3. So we've got the Snapdragon 821 processor and we're assuming that that OnePlus 3T smartphone would probably be running the latest and greatest from Qualcomm. Stay tuned. We cannot wait to hear from that. Now let's move the spotlight over to BlackBerry. Uh, the company has done a very admirable job with its DTEC lineup in conjunction with Alcatel TCL. And uh, it seems that that will be the case with a new DTEC 70 that is probably coming soon. And what makes this phone popular is that apparently it will be the successor to the BlackBerry Prib, so we will have a slide out keyboard. We will be reporting on that as we learn more as well. Now let's talk about Samsung. Believe it or not, the drama continues for the company. Obviously the Galaxy Note 7 brought it a lot of bad fanfare. And I do love how the administration of this company has handled apologies. There was a public apology, but the company has continued with publications in the United States. We see now that the Wall Street Journal has a full page from Samsung with its apology, its investigations, everything that's going on. Hopefully it'll help the company gain more of a limelight. And finally, the very interesting rumors today have to do with some sketchy reports that apparently Apple is working on more iPhone color variants. Why? Because, well, the jet black iPhone may not be so popular with its scratches, but doesn't mean that the company can't make more jet something devices. And the white color was married to Apple for the longest time. So trusted, or should we say sketchy sources in this case are claiming that apparently there is an iPhone 7 Plus, an iPhone 7 in jet black. But the question of today really has to do with your preferences. Would you like a jet white iPhone? In my case, I would. Why not we get jet gray in the process as well? Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on November 14th.